Hey everyone, Craig Williams here, back with another video. In this video I'm going to show you a little tip that I like to use in uh, some of my tracks to help give the track the feeling that it's constantly rising. Uh, this is a remix that I've done for my friends um, Punky Fresh. Uh, the example is missing a couple of instruments because I did the track on my um, normal computer and this is just my laptop but you'll still get the idea and you'll still hear, still hear what's going on this is the element here you can start to hear it come through just got it right in the back of the mix so that's the sound there as you can hear, it's just a vocal sample and it's just getting faster and faster and faster. So I have that just in the back of the mix. So people can't really hear it, but they can. Uh, they get the feeling that the track's constantly lifting. A lot of people like um, Swedish House Mafia do this and I've heard it on a, a couple of other tracks and I think it just adds a little bit more than just having constant rises or something like that. So all I've done to do to make this sound was I got the stems from them and in the stems they had a vocal sample and I'll just, here we are here. So this was the vocal sample. It's really low. So let's Pitch shift it. So you can hear it there. And it's, I wanted to use it, but I didn't know sort of what I was going to do with it. So this is a way that I could use it um, and add a little bit more to my track. So all I did was cut a loop of it, cut a loop of it, and it looped it over. I think I looped it over eight bars. Let's have a look. Yeah, looped it over eight bars. Uh, so I got the sample and then put it into the EXS. Go into the EXS and then it just takes it as one sample over the whole thing. So. So you can hear there as it's going over different uh, different keys. All I did then was just change the pitch bend value to seven. It's usually I think at two. Add some effects on it, and then just put it way down in the mix. Took out the bass because um, I didn't want it to to take up too much of the range. I've got a lot of bass elements in this track. So as you can see there, it takes up a lot of bass. So I just put the, uh, the low cut on, tighten up the sound. And then all I did to the, to the MIDI clip, inserted a MIDI clip, had it over the eight bars, and then just did, went into this part here, into here to pitch bend and then just drew in the automation. I like to, when I can work in just in the MIDI clips, so when you move them around, you're not going to get the message saying, hey, do you want to change the automation and whatnot? And then there you go. So it's a pretty short video. Um, I'm just working on another one for mix downs and mastering for you guys. Uh, until then, now, if you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a line and keep a lookout for this remix by, um, by me for Punky Fresh. Until next time, see you later.